you're not going to like what I'm going to have to do. Our sweet girl has a little, a little issue. We're not going to have our sweet girl walking around with a little issue hanging around. She's hiding it really good from y'all. I know she doesn't want y'all to see this. Hey, sweetie. I'm just going to take my hand and reach over and help you out with that little issue right there. Ah! She kicked me! Ah! She kicked me! This is the end. Okay. I can't find anything worthy of videoing because everyone's trying to be naughty. He's sitting there doing his own naughtiness. Really? Uh, I don't think anyone's impressed, okay? Okay, well, maybe we got one who thinks it's funny. But, uh, it's not that funny, Donkey Dan. Dan's laughing because he knows there's no way that anybody can compare to him when it comes to that kind of stuff. And he's right, y'all, and he's right. <laughs> Farm humor, and if you don't get it, just move on. Don't worry too much about it. Just move on. It's going to be real good for Jake to eventually get his own farm set up and going. Uh, he'll learn a lot. A lot that he doesn't understand now once he has his very own place. Uh, actually, Brienne is already learning some things that Jake doesn't even know yet. Brianna's learned that uh, to have a farm, right now she has, what, her four goats or so, and she has a calf, and she pretty much takes care of Billy and old Granny. But Brianna's learned that that means bills. It meant uh, feed. It means watering every day. It means feeding every day. You don't get days off. You can't work five or 10 minutes, make a video and leave. And so Jake will eventually, there you go, cutie pie. Hi, buddy. So Jake will learn that too. Right now, Jake takes a lot of time off. He's, you know, he's enjoying, he's enjoying his life. Turn my camera around. I think it's real cute seeing the donkeys use the uh, Survivor Cross. Imogene's over there getting some scratches. That's beautiful. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are saying, y'all need to get what Cog Hill has. They got a really neat brush for their cow. Guys, they have a sponsorship. That thing costs like $2,000 and we don't have $2,000 to spend on a brush, a cow brush. But no, that's really neat. Uh, so instead we do brushes like that. Let me walk over. In case y'all are wondering, the horses are in the yard. I let them out every single day. Uh, hey, be sweet to her. Did you, no one saw what I saw in the corner of my eye. Tilly was minding her own business, and that goose ran over and goosed her. Uh, Ivy, there's a better way to scratch, baby. There's a better way to scratch than using the fence. So this over here is what Sean built. As you know, Jake built one in the back. That works pretty good also for the littles but uh this one here now i had to make a couple of alterations to it because the pigs tore it up <laughs> the pigs tore up sean's original would you let dan boy you just cut dan off from all the love i was gonna love dan and i just got cut off from loving donkey dan danny i'm sorry i'll love you later but uh no it's cute how they get over there and they brush themselves on that now there's nothing that beats a man's hands y'all there's nothing in the world that beats a man's hand now some of you ladies might say well i <laughs> beg to differ but uh, a lot of y'all would say lester you're right even though i don't want to admit it there's nothing that beats <laughs> there's nothing that beats a man's hands i don't want to watch and embarrass her but she's trying y'all look look at that she just made her a halter out of a lead rope. Who taught you that? Don't know. I guess YouTube. YouTube? <laughs> Don't you mean Lester Tube? Oh, yeah. Edutainment. Yeah, Lester's for Lester. Guys, don't forget, I'm all about edutainment. And I did teach her how to make a, lead, a halter 
out of a lead rope, a two and one. See, I'm not just about entertainment. I can also teach. Now, the thing is, he's not gonna wanna walk over there because he's enjoying this good, delicious winter grass. It's a combination of rye, we got some oats, and we got some clover, and it's yummy. You wanna go with your buddy? You wanna go with your buddy? There you go, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nothing, guys. Nothing beats a man's hands. <laughs> yeah. Listen, guys, you can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. Can't make it up? Come on. Come on, Buckies. Oh, my goodness. Get in there. Turn right there. Turn right there. Now get on in there, you big. All right. Don't look. Look at him. He knows what's going to happen. I'm trying to help. You don't get up. Don't get up. This is going to help you. We're just going to help you from all these flies that are circling around trying to nibble Looks at like you. like I would like to see some of them man hands on me, Daddy. I'm like, okay, you big galoot. Here comes Daddy's man's hands. There's Daddy's man hands, okay? Is that what you wanted to feel Daddy's man hands on you? Because you're a big galoot. Yes, you are a big galoot. Santoro's looking real good. Of course, Annabelle looks great. Can y'all believe how much she's grown? Can y'all believe how much she's grown? <laughs> oh, no. Look who's peeking over here. Waylon, you have Jolene. You leave Annabelle alone, sweetie. I'm sorry. You may have a little bit of competition there with Jolene. I think she's a cutie. Looks like Waylon thinks you're a cutie. Uh-oh, look at Jolene, boy. Waylon, I don't think you know what you, who you're messing with. Here comes Jolene and she's not happy about this. Jolene, look at her face. She's walking over here with that face, y'all. Every man knows that face. You do not make a woman. No, sir, you do not. Oh boy, sorry Waylon, that's what you get for looking. Have y'all noticed that women can always identify other pretty women? And uh, listen, every woman knows who they feel is a threat. Now, listen, I'm gonna talk from a guy's perspective. And so ladies, if you choose to listen to this, just know that I'm talking from an ignorant guy's perspective. I don't know what I'm saying and I'm not gonna make any sense to any of you. But I hope you'll keep listening because you can tell that there ain't much difference in the way Jolene's mad at Waylon compared to the way you all get mad at your partners. So women know their men. Women know their men. And so there are some women who can hang around your man and you don't feel a threat at all. You do not feel even the least bit threatened by. Yet another woman can show up and you know your man so well you know your man so darn well that there's no way you're letting your man get anywhere close to her especially not alone and it, it oh my gosh it could be you could be at a school event a school function with your children for christ's sake and you see your man sit down at a certain table and there's some woman there that you feel like might be a threat. And you watch how, and you know it's true, you run over and sit right down between them. You may even put your arm over on his arm. You may grab his hand. You may give him a lip locker you, for no reason other than to let that woman know that he's taken. And your man may not have had the slightest of intentions to ever flirt with her. But you know what? you know your man so good that you probably know that he probably was going to flip with her. Dang, you women are good. You women are good. Yep, you're good.
Now you're probably saying, Lester, how would you know that? Lester, how would a guy like you know something like that? Well, I have a brother, Uncle Dan, and I know what Lou has had to deal with her whole marriage with that guy. Yeah, I know. Lou has had to deal with Dan for, I think, darn near 28 years. <sighs> That's how I know. That's how I know. Yeah, I ain't pointing no fingers at myself. I am pointing no fingers at myself. Instead, I'll point them right over there at Uncle Dan, my brother, who I love. I want to show y'all how sweet my brother is to his wife. Look at this recent Facebook post that he uh, he did for their anniversary. Right, let's have a watch this. Let's see if it worked with the donkeys the way it does with my little goats and pigs. Come on, let us! Let's go! Come on, babies! Come on, little ones! Uh, no donkeys. Oh, look how slow Ringo is. Ringo used to be the leader, now he's way in the back. Come on, babies! Donkey dance coming. Come on, little ones. We got food. Come on, so, babies. So, little issue taken care of. However, I got my bad shoulder. What are y'all laughing about? She kicked me right in the bad shoulder. Uh, she didn't quite get my shoulder. She got my hand. But what it did was this. I'll try to show you. So, I reached my hand over, and this is already painful to me. And as I'm grabbing for the dingleberry, she kicks and it knocks my hand this way and just about ripped my shoulder out of its socket. My arm will never heal. My arm is never going to heal. No, Uncle Dan did not want Jake to quit his nine to five job where he pays taxes in. Okay, I can't find anything worthy of videoing because everyone's trying to be naughty. He's sitting there doing his own naughtiness. Really? Uh, I don't think anyone's impressed, okay? Okay, well, maybe we got one who thinks it's funny. But, uh, it's not that funny, Donkey Dan. Dan's laughing because he knows there's no way that anybody can compare to him when it comes to that kind of stuff. And he's right, y'all, and he's right. <laughs> Farm humor, and if you don't get it, just move on. Don't worry too much about it, just move on. Farm humor. All right, so back to Uncle Dan and uh, Lou. No, they did not want Jake to become complacent with coming over here and doing a couple of, you know, farm jobs and going back home, going back to sleep. Because like Uncle Dan told me, he says, you know what, Jake is, you know, at, at that time, Jake's 27 now, but one day he'll be 37, and then he'll be 47, and then 57, and, it, you know, you can't live your life running down doing a couple of small jobs for your uncle, getting a few dollars for doing a few jobs, there's no future in that, and so Jake promised that he was going to supplement it. I don't have any of my tools here to work on his little hoof. Jake promised he was going to supplement it with making videos. And Jake started off making videos. I mean, he was gung ho. But sometimes the monotony of just doing the same thing every day, day in and day out, can get a little bit tiring. And so Jake has been kind of sporadic in his video creations. Ultimately, it's none of my business, but, you know, I do worry about the future of not only Jake, but Ellie and Brianne. I've talked about this before, haven't I? I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself in an older video. All right, let me go ahead and get everybody taken care of, guys. I'll need two hands for this.